All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. And today I have the OtterBox Defender Pro Series case for my Samsung Galaxy S21. So this case was sent to me free of charge from OtterBox. So big thank you to OtterBox for sending this and give me the opportunity to do this video. Now this case is gonna run you anywhere from about 40 bucks to 65 bucks, depending on where you buy it. So I couldn't find it on Amazon for whatever reason. I could find the Defender Pro for like the Note 20 and some other Samsung devices, but the S21, I just could not find it. So if you do find it on Amazon, let me know because I'd be happy to send you my affiliate link. So that way you can support my channel if you want to, you don't have to, but like I said, I would appreciate that. But at Best Buy right now, it's around 40 bucks. Um, and on OtterBox's website, it's about $64.99. So it's not the most inexpensive case out there, but with the Defender Pro, it is the creme de la creme of the protection side for OtterBox. So it's the most popular case, or at least the Defender Pro and the Defender. But let's go ahead and dive into the unboxing and check it out. And let's go ahead and see if it's worth your hard earned money. So as far as the unboxing experience goes, um, if you've had an OtterBox case, you know the boxes look all identical basically. So you have the cutout here so you can touch and fill the case. Obviously it's the Defender Pro. Here it does talk about that it is drop plus tested. So it is four times tested to the military standard. So this bad boy is gonna be something that's gonna definitely protect your phone from major drops, bumps and bruises. So definitely a case for that type of uh, world if you're you know, in the construction or whatever. Um, and then it's a lasting antimicrobial case protection. So basically they have uh, the case is infused with a silver base additive that continually blocks microbial growth. So it inhibits the growth. Um, so at the end of the day, you know, there's a lot of science into the case. Uh, I've never done any testing to really be able to say a hundred percent that that's the truth, but I have to believe if they're going to put it on the box, that there is some science behind it. And then of course it's made with uh, more than 50% recycled plastic, which is kind of cool. And then they do have their give back program as usual. The materials are 5G compatible, so it's not gonna block your 5G um, you know, reception or anything like that. And then as far as the back goes, you have just a basic breakdown once again of all the normal stuff. It does say it's wireless charging compatible, which we will test. It's multi-layer defense, which we'll go over. Outlast heavy duty and the holster slash kickstand, which we'll go over here in just a sec. So the way to get this out, is literally just kind of pull this tab up and then slide the case out. And then here, the belt clip for the holster uh, is actually attached here. So you just kind of have to make sure you, you know, click it up so you can slide it out then. And then they do give you the instructions here if you um, want to figure out how to install the case and everything like that with it being a dual layer case. It's not just a quick, easy little snap in. You gotta, you know, make sure you do it the right way. And then the belt clip holster install as well, which is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But let's go ahead and take a peek here at the actual holster belt clip first. So if you've had an OtterBox uh, Defender case, then this is pretty generic, pretty basic. Got the OtterBox brand or OtterBox branding there. And then it's a hard plastic, obviously, that your phone will click in. And then you do have your uh, belt clip. And the cool thing with this one too, is that it doubles as a kickstand for the phone. So if you see here and click it even further down, so once you do this to kind of do that, just push it even more and you get a satisfying click. And now you can see there, it is clicked in and it sticks out there. So you can do like kind of landscape, kind of portrait, but it kind of leans more back. It's not like standing straight up, but if you do want to just kind of put it down and be able to do like landscape viewing, then you can. And then just the way to basically undo it is you just kind of push it down and there you go. But uh, it is very clicky when you do that. And then as far as the actual case goes, here is the case itself. So if you've ever had a Defender Pro case, then you know it just feels very grippy. The whole entire case is this really nice grippy material. You've got these lines here on the back. But let's go ahead and focus on the inside and we'll focus on the outside once I get the phone in the case itself. 
So as far as the interior goes with this Defender Pro, it has this very, very nice cushiony material in here. Like if you touch it, it just feels so good. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it just feels very satisfying to push. But as you can see here, this is exactly what's going up against the phone. You got the Defender Pro branding here, Drop Plus. And then on the inside, you can see here uh, that there is some really good protection here on the inside of the bumpers of the case. And so you got like a, just a two part case, as you can see in there, hopefully the light is doing its justice here. But anyways, um, so yeah, but man, this interior just feels so dang good. But the way to get this apart is basically the way I do it is I kind of pull the actual uh, port flap here. And once you start to kind of yank it, you can see that it pulls apart and you're just gonna separate it from the actual inner shell that is the hard plastic part here. And then the next step, so where you can see these little arrows, that's where you're gonna just basically disconnect the case. And so once you pop all those, it comes apart. So it's super simple, but like I said, just don't overthink it, guys. Now, as far as the phone goes, here's my S21. You're just gonna put the back in first, so then you can kind of see there. And then let's go ahead and do this part here and everything's just going to click back together so as you can see you kind of hear those clicks all around so every part where we had the little arrows are going to connect back and then that's basically the way that the phone looks when it is in this part here and then of course we'll cover it up with this outer shell here but I at least wanted y'all to kind of just see how it looks with it like this so now let's go ahead and slap this on. So let's go ahead and grab the outer shell here and you're just gonna work it all around until you get it all nice and pushed together. And then the same kind of with the port flap. Now the nice thing I like about the Defender Pro with their port flap here, which I'll show you here in just a sec. Once you get, as you can see here, you just want this nicely tight and sealed so I can see it bubbled up right there. You're just going to push it all the way down. So go into the port flap here. The thing I really like about the Defender Pro's port flap is that it is going away. So instead of you having to push it down and open it, it flaps up instead of the up opposite direction. And that makes it a lot easier to one, install the actual outer shell onto the case, but then two, it's so much easier to open and have access to it when you're wanting to charge the phone. Because if it was like this side and you had to flip it down, I don't know, just sometimes I feel like that gets in the way. So I appreciate this way versus the other way. But there is the S21 in the Defender Pro case. So as you can see here, looks really good with my Phantom Gray. Now you do have, like I said, the whole entire case is in this really nice grippy material and then of course, on the back, you do have that little bit different design there where you can kind of see that it's still that grippy material, but then you have like these more gloss inserts to just kind of give it a different look. You have the OtterBox branding there. And then as you can see here, you do have a little bit of a different texture that's kind of going around the border, goes around the camera bump here. So it just has this really cool little texturized area that you fill and it's definitely very grippy right there. So it, it's raised just a tad bit. And the nice thing about that is it's gonna help when you do put the phone back down on a surface and grabs, so it's not slipping and sliding everywhere. Now, as far as the camera bump design goes, this is what they went with. I absolutely like this camera bump design versus like their Symmetry case where it was just a big chunky cutout. So this one's a little bit better because you have a little bit more of a defined cutout around the camera bump. And then it does extend out a little bit so you have your flash exposed there. And as you can see, it's kind of a high gloss material once again. They're nicely recessed in there. So the lenses are going to be very protective, not getting any scratches on it at all when you do put it back down. So let's go ahead and do the shake test here. So it is completely flat. There is no wobble at all, but I think a big part of it has to do with that extra raised texturized grip around the back because that's helping it from shaking a lot. 
So there is the back. Now let's go ahead and take a peek at the rest of the case. So as you can see here, you do get some nice texturized grip on the side of the case. So around the bumpers, you do get that. You do have some really nice volume up and down and power buttons here that are raised up. So very easy to find when you're looking for them. I absolutely love that. And then when you start to go back down to the bottom, we'll kind of address the bottom again. So you do have a very nice cut out there for your speaker grill. And as you can see, it is nice and deep in there. So you're not gonna have any issues of uh, damage or anything like that. When the port flap is closed, you do have a cut out there exposed for the microphone. So it's not getting covered up. And then once again, when you open it, boom, there it is you do have full access to your USB type C port. And then once again, obviously the mic is completely exposed and this port flap is very helpful because it does keep dust and gunk out of your uh, charging port there. And then kind of wrapping around, as you can see here, still just has that extra texturized grip on the sides, but obviously no Bixby button or anything like that. And then at the top, you do have one cutout for the mics up top. Now, as far as the front of the phone goes, you do have a very nice border here that's definitely separating the phone screen from any surface that you put it down on. Now you can see here, you do have some raised lips all around, but it is a lot more prominent on the forehead and chin of the phone. But with it being like that, it's definitely gonna help when you do put it face down on any surface. And there is no shake at all, once again, because of that raised forehead and chin, it's definitely helping from that shake. And now as far as the cutout for the um, speaker grill up here up top, it is a dedicated little cutout there that you can see. It's very nice and slim, no issues at all. But like I said, you can see that little bit of a raised lip right there when you do kind of look at it at a different angle there, but nicely cut out there. Doesn't stand out like a sore thumb when you look at it straight on. So definitely two thumbs up with the cutout there. So now let's go ahead and do the button test and see how responsive and clicky they are. So let's go ahead and do the power button first. And volume up and down. Okay, so it definitely passes the clicky button test. I don't know if you could actually hear them on my lavalier mic that I have on but they are very, very clicky and responsive. And then let's go ahead and do the Qi wireless charging test here. And let's see how this performs. So there we have it. It is definitely Qi wireless charging compatible. So even with this case being a thick, rugged case, surprisingly, it does not feel super huge like some of the Defender Pro cases that I've uh, tested or played around with before. So even though it is a little bit thicker case, it is definitely somewhat of a slim profile. And like I said, don't get me wrong, it's not like a paper thin case. So don't think that it's like that. Um, obviously the symmetry case is definitely gonna be slimmer than this, but with the ruggedness, with the drop protection, just with that extra dual layer of protection, this case surprisingly doesn't feel terribly too heavy or super chunky and thick in my hands. Now let's go ahead and talk about the holster clip and everything like that with this. So if you are someone that likes to wear, you know, your phone on your belt loop or anything like that, like I don't really normally use these to be honest with you because it's rare that I have my shirt tucked in unless I'm at work or something like that. But even then it's rare that I, I rock my phone on my hip. But if you are someone that does, it's really easy to do. So as you can see here, you got this part here where the phone actually slides in and then that kind of clicks here. So you can do it this way where you slide it in like so and then get that satisfying click. And that's where that clip part of this case here is going to snap in even on this side too. So you can do it either side, but it clicks in right on there. And now you have it where if you have it on your belt loop here, which you can do it like this, or you can do it like this and then have it on your belt loop. Now your phone at least is covered when you are wearing it and the screen's not exposed. Now, if you do want to have your screen exposed, you could, you can just flip it back around, push it in like so, get that click. And now it's like that. So if you're wearing it, then you can see your screen and everything like that. Now, as far as the belt clip goes, 
like I showed y'all earlier, if you push it down all the way and get that click, now it's automatically stuck in this position and you can do a few different things, but the main thing is you can kind of sit it like this now and watch a movie or something like that if you like to kind of leave it in landscape mode. But like I said, it stays up. You know, if you keep on pushing it, if you push it backwards a little bit, it actually won't fall back, but obviously it will fall forward if you bump it because there's nothing protecting it from that way. And plus it's not leaning all the way back, but you can do it that way. And you could also, if you wanted to, twist it where it's like this and then have it kind of like so, where then it's still kind of like a kickstand a little bit, but it's just kind of leaning up towards you a little bit. So that is another option that you could do. Um, and then like I said, whenever you don't wanna use it, you just literally just push that down right here and that unclicks it. So there we go. So super simple and easy to use. But uh, yeah, so there is the OtterBox Defender Pro case. So if you are someone that wants a rugged case that's gonna give you some really, really, really good drop protection, gives you the ability to actually use your real screen. So there's no built-in screen protector, which I actually like. I, I prefer my own screen. Um, and if you had a screen protector on it, it is um, tempered glass or um, like a film screen protector friendly. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have either of those on my phone to really show you that, but I've read enough on it and then I've actually talked to OtterBox about it. It is definitely screen protector friendly. But there you have it guys. Hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, obviously I'd appreciate a sub and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. But uh, be safe out there and we will see you on the next one.